be for life. Apollo, part of my great profane against thine oracle, I'll reconcile me to Polixenes. You woo my queen. Recall the good Camilla, whom I proclaim a man of truth, of mercy, for being transported by my jealousies to bloody thoughts and to revenge. I chose him for the minister to poison my friend Polixenes. Had been done, but the good mind of Camillo targeted my swift command, so I was destined with reward in threaten and encourage him, not doing it and being done. He, most humane and filled with honor, to my kingly guest some of my practice, which is fortune, which you knew great. Pass for me. Hot wheels, crack, fire. Hot flame, boiling in lead or oil. What old or new assorter must I receive? Who is every word deserves to taste of thy most worth? Thy tyranny, together working with thy jealousy. But it is too weak for boys, too green and idle for girls of mine. Who oh, think what they have done? And then run mad in these dark paths. For all thy bygone foolery for the spices of it. But thou be true to me. For nothing. As if but purely of fool. Inconstant and damnable and grateful. Nor was much that was the point that was the point good Camillo's honor to have him kill a king. Poor Tristan. More monster standing by. Whereof I reckon the cast be sought to thy baby daughter, to be undone, or little though a devil as would have shed water out of fair fire I done. Nor is thou actually made to see the death of the young prince, who is on the floor. Thoughts high for one so tender, cleft the heart that could conceive a throne that fully clad, let it his gracious down. This is not no lay to thy answer. Oh, Lord, when I say cry, woe, the queen, the queen, the sweetest, dearest creature dead, and vengeance for it not drop down yet, the highest house, my safety dead, I swear, if we're Lord, we were not sure and see, if you could drink tincture or luster in her heart, her lips, he tells me your breath within, I'll serve you as I would do the dog. Oh, tyrants, do not be these things, for they are heavier than all thy woes can stir. Therefore, betake thee to nothing but despair. A thousand years, ten thousand years together, naked, farted, Upon a barren mountain, and still winter in storm perpetual, could not lose the gods so look that way thou wert. Go on, go on. Thou canst not speak too much. I have deserved them, starting to talk their bitterest. See no more. However, speaking spoke, you have made fault of both your speech. I am sorry for them. Of course, they make. When I shall come to know them, I do repent. I have shown too much the rashness of a woman. He is touched to the noble heart. What God and what part help to be part grief? Do not receive a fiction of my petition. 
I can see to uh let me be punished and have reminded you of what you should forget. shall be for both. Upon them shall the cause of their death appear unto us shame perpetual. Once a day I'll visit the chapel where they lie. Tears shed there shall be my recreation. So long as nature does bear up with this exercise, so long I daily vow to you. Come and lead me to these sorrows. <laughs> 